Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Summer Camp. This was sent to me by Buffalo Games and is designed by Phil Walker Harding. Summer Camp is a competitive deck building game where players race to earn merit badges and collect the most experienced points to win. Each player has their own deck of cards to play, and as the game progresses, you'll add new cards to your deck to make it even stronger. But look out, other campers have the same goal. Devise your strategy, build the best card combination to outplay your opponents, and rule the summer as the ultimate camper. Let me show you how to play. So in summer camp, you're trying to get the most points uh, during summer camp. Um, the map board here is made up of these nine tiles. These are randomly distributed. You also pick uh, three different types of cards uh, to pick from at the start of the game. Right now, I am using the recommended beginner set, which consists of water sports, cooking, and outdoors, but the game also includes other sets as well that you can mix and match to make each game different. Regardless, each player starts with uh, three different pawns on the tracks, and they start with a starter deck. So if you look here, you always start with seven lights out cards, which don't do anything on their own, and you start with one of each type of card, a move one card, which you move on the paths, which I'll get into later. Now, on a typical turn, you're gonna draw five. Now, on a typical turn, you're gonna have a hand of about five cards. At the beginning of the game, it's a little bit different, but for your for most of the game, it's gonna be five cards in your hand. Uh, and what you do is you can play these cards uh, to do the actions or gain energy from them. So, these uh, lights out cards, obviously, they don't do anything, so you can use them for energy. One energy, two energy, three energy. The other two cards, you can decide, do I want to use this as an energy, or do I want to do it as an action? Let's say I use both of these as their actions. I'm gonna, or let's say I use this one as my action, and this one as an energy. So if I play this as an action, I will move one of my pieces on the cooking path. So, go up here and you move that piece. Now, you'll notice on this path here, there's a symbol. Whenever your pawn gets on a space with a symbol, uh, you get a bonus. In this case, you get a little snack bar. Snack bars are tokens you can hold on to between turns. You can hold up to six of these. You can spend these as extra energy if you need them to buy cards. And you can just stack them there. So I use that one as an action. Well, let's say for now I use the other one also as its action. Water safety. Uh, I can move on the water sports path. So I move my pawn. Uh, if I go on this bonus space, that means I get to move another pawn. And now you can see I can start doing a little bit of a combo. Because I go, okay, I can move another pawn. I'll move this pawn. This space lets me draw a card. So now I get to draw another card and I get another energy. So in total, I've got four energy uh, I decided to uh, use. So I can look over here. I could buy one of these cards, like for example, a marshmallow, uh, which would, whenever I play it, I gain two snack bars. It's also worth two points at the end of the game. I could also get water skiing, uh, move one space on the path you have progressed the most on. It's worth one point at the end of the game. Uh, so let's say I decide, okay, I'm gonna get the marshmallows. Whatever you buy goes straight to your discard pile. And then when you're done, all cards that you played that turn also get discarded. When you're done, you uh, draw up to five cards. Whenever you run out of your deck, you just take your discard pile, shuffle it up. That becomes your new deck. And make sure you draw up to five. So cards, like in any deck building game, cards that you buy will get added to your deck eventually. Now, while you are trying to buy cards, uh, and get points that way. Also, after when your turn is done, you refill these. Um, you're also racing to see who can accomplish uh, certain tasks faster. So, if you look here, if I can get all three of my pieces either on the bridge or across the bridge first, um, then I get the first participation badge. So you look up here, I get the 6.1. The second player to do it will get four, and the third will get two. Last place gets nothing. Same thing if I cross these bridges here. If I manage to send all my people on bridges or past the bridge, I get the first Camp All-Star badges. All the badges that you earn go into slots on your board. And then finally, if I get to one of the ends of the tracks first, like here, I get the first 
water sports badge for that category, or I could get the first outdoors badge, and they're all worth the more points the earlier you get there. Now the game ends once one player collects all three of the merit badges. Uh, that signals the end of the game. However, you keep playing until everyone has had an equal number of turns. At the end of the game, then you count all the points on all your badges, all the points on all the cards you collected, any pawns that didn't make it, let's say at the end of the game, purple made it, blue made it. Let's say red made it here and here and made it to the final one. So red will still score some points, in this case for this one, two points for making it this far, and four points for making it that far. Then you just count up all your points, uh, and if you have the most points, you win. If there's a tie, snack bar tokens are the tiebreaker. Now looking over here, there are three cards you can buy at any time. S'mores are a card that are cost two to buy, and they give you two energy when you play them. Scavenger Hunt, when you play this card, you can discard one to three cards, then draw that many cards. Free time, you can move one space on any path. And then some examples of other cards. This is just from the these sets here. Pizza making, when you play this, move three spaces on the cooking path. Pocket knife, just lets you draw three cards straight up. Sailing, move three spaces on the water sports path. So uh, as you buy these cards and add them to your deck, you'll progress on the tracks faster. And if you go on certain spaces, you can trigger those bonuses and potentially do combos. Otherwise, that's pretty much the game. And like I said, you can mix and match different sets as well. But uh, overall, that's how you play. So I loved this. Uh, as always, I'm an absolute sucker for deck building games. And I love how easy and quick this one flows. I love the three different races mechanic with the potentials for combos on the sign spaces and having to choose between using cards as written with the actions or using them as energy. It kind of reminds me of uh, Dune Imperia, which I reviewed earlier, and which is also a great game. Although obviously that's a much more complex one, it still gave me that feel of like, okay, Every card has two different uses. How do I use them? Which I think is a very smart idea. Theming is very cute. All the art looks great. This is honestly a perfect introductory game for people who have never played deck building games before, but it's still very interesting and fun enough that I had a great time with it. I would gladly play this game over and over again. You know, it's not like a, one of those, mm, I guess we'll settle for this game because it's easy to teach. No, it's really fun. I also appreciate the variety with, you know, the different activities you can mix in. So that the cards are different. The board changes each time. Um, I, I, I highly recommend this game, especially if you like deck building games and you're looking for something with a lighter feel, a fun theme, it feels more accessible, uh, but still has good meat on its bones, I had a great time with this game. Highly recommended.